All right, next we're going to move on to slide three and how to do the animation on slide three. And this, this one compared to the butterflies and the other, others are not as difficult. But what we'll do on, on here is we're going to click on our shape. And we're actually going to use a shape animation. It's kind of interesting. And we can do a, a few interesting aspects of this, which, is, which are, are quite neat. The first is we're going to go to effects and we're going to do a one by one. Okay, and that, that's kind of a, a, a nice way to do that because it kind of looks like it's coming in piece by piece, which is, um, which is good. And they also want us to change, of course, the settings up here so that, uh, let me make sure I get these correct, four seconds, one second delay, and that will be after previous. Okay, so that's how you animate slide three. Not too bad. I'll go to slide four, click on my chart, and we're going to do something interesting. Here we're going to do a fly-in animation. Now what would be nice, and, the, and I'm going to show you how to do this, is we're going to have it fly in from the bottom, as we have here, but we're going to go to um, animation effects and do by category. So this will fly in by pieces, which is quite nice, which is a... a, a, a great way to do this. This is going to be over a three second duration. Um, what is it? Three seconds. Maybe I have the wrong numbers on that. I, let me check. I apologize. Yes, yeah, three seconds in um, two seconds and two and a half. I'm sorry. I was looking, I was looking ahead. Don't look ahead too much. A lot of different uh, options in here, so um, make sure you double check those as I'm, I'm doing as I'm going through here, and this should be after previous. Okay, so three and four wasn't too bad. Let's go to slide five, and we're going to do some, some um, relatively extensive animation on this. On slide five, I'm going to select the text box on the left, and I'm going to add a, uh, an animation here that is going to be a shape entrance okay and the settings are going to be um, three seconds the the delay will be one and a half seconds and uh, let's see if I can't type on this and then the uh, start will be after previous. So that's for this this area over here on the left. Now we're going to do some effects. They want the effects to be out and diamond, which is a, a pretty neat um, looking animation. Now one other thing we can do is we're going to do something after the animation. And this is kind of a, a, a nifty little um, area here. Over on the left here, this is my animation pane. I have that open, so you'll need to have that open. If you click on, on the area uh, to the right, there's an option to come down, and you have some effect options. What we're going to do is after the animation, I'm going to change this to, looks like a purplish color. Okay? So when the animation's over, it'll actually change that to purple, which is a, a, a pretty neat effect. All right, now you can see how that's doing that in the preview, which is nice. But what's, what also is nice is I'm going to click on this, this area over here. And um, rather than do the exact same thing to the right, I'm going to use my animation painter. And I'm going to apply it to this text over on the right. It does the same thing. So that's, that's quite um, a time-saving uh, mechanism there. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is at the bottom we're going to create what's called a credit animation. And this is a, a, a kind of an a, I don't want to say an advanced one, but it's it's a little a little crazier. Um, we're going to click on this and go up to animations. Now the the um, credit is not located here, so we have to go to more entrance. And it brings up this box, and it's clear at the bottom. It's it's one of the exciting animations. So you select credits, 
And this one here, we're going to change a, a few different settings. The first thing is they want the duration to last 18 seconds. And the delay will be 2 seconds. Now, if you look in your book on this, one thing you might notice is that the text down here is, is green, but uh, in the book it's, per, it's pink. So I'm going to show you how to change that, and this is kind of a nifty... Uh, approach. So I'm going to go back to my home tab. I'm going to highlight the text down here at the bottom. I'm gonna t this is how we normally would change text color or font color. I'm going to use an eyedropper. And the eyedropper lets me find the pink I want on the screen. And now it changes that for us at the bottom automatically, which is which is quite nice. Okay. Um, go back to slide one for a second, just because the last part of this we're going to talk about is under transitions. They want us to add a transition that we're going to apply to um, all, actually most of the slides. And this transition is called a box transition. And the box transition is here. And we're going to make that box from the right. And we're going to apply it to all the slides. So when you go from slide to slide, it's going to do that box transition. The only difference is now down here on the bottom, the last slide, we're going to add a different animation. We're going to change that actually to be uh, curtains. So the curtain slide is, is right here. And that looks like curtains opening up, and that's how that is done. Now, I'm not going to go through the last couple parts, but they talk about how to make a self-running presentation, which is nice. Um, I can't really do that here because it will run forever and ever. But if you're going to have a, set up a, a slideshow that you want to have um, on a display table or something like that, it talks about that at, at the end and also how to set up a, a, a manually timed uh, presentation. So I, I encourage you to take a look at that. Um, not part of the project, but um, certainly a very valuable uh, part of, of learning PowerPoint. Good luck.